Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Carl D'Souza. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Power Platform TV. Today we're going to take a look at the uh, flip switch control. So this is a uh, control that we can add to uh, D365 or model driven power apps forms. And it, it's a good looking control. And um, what we're going to do today is we're going to use it to uh, toggle the showing and hiding of a section. So as an example, um, what we'll do today is we will go to the account form that I'm on now and we can see that on the details tab we have this section and it's called company profile. So in a scenario uh, you may want to not show this section all the time and um, you know it's a pretty common requirement to hide sections based on business logic. Um, what we will do is we will give the user the ability to show and hide this section using this flip switch control so that the user can decide if they want to um, have this section take up all this real estate on this form or not every time uh, they go to it, right? So let's take a look at how we can implement this. So if we go over to make.paraps.com, let's go and select the account entity and we'll start making some changes to it. So let's click on account. And this takes us to the fields of the account. And what we will do is we will create a new field and we will call this field uh, company profile show hide. Okay. So the data type that we will select, um, the one that we uh, will use in order to get this flip switch control is the two options data set, uh, data type. So if I select this, what we see here is that um, we only have two options available to the user um, when, when they are uh, entering in this information. So uh, we see under items here that it's defaulting to yes and no. And what we want to do is we'll make the yes show. So when the control is set to on like this, it will be a show. And then uh, we'll do a hide when it is not uh, set here. Okay. So uh, the default values hide, that's fine. And let's just go ahead and click done and that will save that field. So um, the next thing we want to do in the bottom right is just make sure to click save entity and that will allow us to use the field next. So now that the field is created, let's go ahead to forms and we'll, we'll throw this field on a form. Um, so we'll, kick, we'll uh, select the main account form here. So that's going to open the form in the Power Apps Designer for Model Driven Apps. And uh, the form has loaded here. And just something to check is like, if you scroll down on the left in the fields, um, we just want to make sure that our field has appeared here. So sometimes what I find is, you know, when you create a new field, it doesn't automatically appear here. Um, and if that's the case, you may just want to uh, hit F5 on your browser and just refresh the browser and it'll uh, kind of figure itself out and reappear here. So we're on the account form and uh, let's go over and click on details. And here is the section that we want to do the showing and hiding off. Okay. So um, we can add a field, uh, this, this new company profile field, uh, basically anywhere on the form. And I think what would be nice is if we uh, created a section um, to actually store the field in so that it will kind of look a little nicer. Um, so the way to do that is to click on components over here and we have the different layouts available for the different uh, tabs and sections. And what I want to use is a one column section. So I'm going to click on that and drag this across and put it uh, over here right at the top of the form. Okay. So we have the field on the form, uh, the section now, and uh, over on the right, we can give the section a label and we can give it a name. And um, I'm going to call this um, show hide section. Okay. And I'm going to hide the label because we don't really 
care about displaying that on, on the form itself. Um, but what we do want to do is go over to fields and grab our new field and put that on here to show that. So company profile, hide show, let's drag that into our new section here. And now we have the field on the form, okay? So um, so that's cool. Um, the, the thing about this now is if I were to go and uh, save and publish this, we would see this field on the form, but it's just going to be a, a selection of like a, a show hide, but it's not going to have the cool uh, flip control visual, okay? So in order to do that, we'll go down over here uh, to components, and we're going to click on this uh, add component, and um, what's happened is it's it's found that it is a two option component, and uh, one of the um, it's a two option field, and so one of the components that we can use is this flip switch, right? If we zoom over that, it says uh, we got a couple of modes here: edit and read, and the description is uh, use this control for any field with the data type of boolean or two options, right? So I'm going to select this, and um, then it gives us the option to uh, where to use this control. And uh, I, we, it's defaulting to all of them, and I'm good with that. I'm going to click Done. So we have the control up here now on the form. So I'm going to save this in the top right. And once that's saved, I'll click Publish. And we will have um, the new field on the form. So that's kind of the first part of what we want to do. The second part is... We want to wire up this uh, field to a business rule so that when the field is selected and changed, um, it's going to go ahead and, and basically hide this section. So um, let's go and firstly, we'll just take a quick look at this field. So if I jump back over to this account form and just hit F5 to reload this form, let's take a look and see what the form looks like and what the uh, new field looks like at the moment. So here is a new account page and if we click on details um, we can see here's our new field right so it kinda looks cool click on it it says show it's got this nice green color here and um, you know click uh, on it again and it says hide um, but it's not doing anything okay so we'll go back over to make.paraps and let's go back and let's um, go create a business rule against this entity. So the way to do that is to click on business rules and over here add a business rule. And that's going to load the business rule designer. So here is the designer and what we'll do here is we want to add a uh, new condition and so uh, this first condition here um, we are on the account entity so that's good and we want to uh, pick up the field that we just created and that one is the company profile show hide and what we what we're seeing here is when that is equal to uh, one of these values go and do something so if we click hide okay so this is going to, uh, and we could click apply. Um, we are going to go across this top branch of the business process flow, uh, excuse me, the business, the business rule. And um, so if I click add, uh, we can add a um, action here as to what to do. Okay. So um, we can see that we can uh, add recommendations. We can lock or unlock fields. Um, we can set field values. And the one we want here is set visibility. So what we can do if I click this plus sign is we can actually set the visibility off the fields um, on a form based on this condition. So if we flip back over to our form here, uh, company profile, we have these three fields. So what we can do is uh, when the value is hide, we can automatically um, set these fields to hidden I want to show we can display these fields. So, you know, another way to do this obviously is 
you could write some JavaScript code behind here and you could just actually uh, hide this section in one shot. Um, you know, so you don't have to hide individual fields and, um, you know, the, the section will be completely hidden. But the way that we're doing this with the business rule, just kind of to demonstrate some functionality, is we'll hide each of the fields individually and that the result of that is that the actual section will be hidden. Um, so if we click back on business rule, um, we can go ahead and select uh, one of those fields. So let's pick up the industry as the first one. And if we click on fields over here on the right, zoom uh, and scroll down to industry and the visibility we will set to no, okay? So we're setting it to no because we're going across this top branch where we've said uh, if the first condition is no um, of our field. So we'll click apply. So we have uh, one here and let's just give this a better name. Industry hide and we'll click apply. So uh, that's, the, that's the first one we want to hide. The second one is going to be the SIC code. So same deal. Let's go add set visibility and we'll do... Uh, hide SIC code and we'll pick up this field here and we'll click visibility no click apply and then the final one we want to add is the ownership so same thing we'll add visibility and we will say hide ownership and we will pick up the ownership field and set this to no. So click apply. And so that's our top branch. So then uh, let's click uh, visibility as again. And what we'll do is we'll do a showing at this point. So we click down here. Um, so what we want to do is we want to uh, industry show in this case. And let's pick up the industry field and visible yes. Okay. Um, same thing, we'll do it with the other two fields. So we'll do show SIC code and pick up the SIC code, visible yes. And then the final one is the ownership. So we'll click show ownership and visible yes. Okay. So that's our con uh, condition um, across the top here, and we'll just call this um, show hide company profile. Okay, that looks good. We will click apply, and let's go ahead and save this. And we have an error in the process. Let's see what the error is. Um, so over here it says, we didn't select the field. Looks like I didn't click uh, save. So if I just go back over to uh, uh, the ownership field here and click apply, um, we can just give this the name again, show ownership. Click apply and let's click save again. And validation is successful, it says here. Um, and that looks good. So, um, we are ready to use this. Let's go and click activate and this will activate this business rule and uh, click activate to confirm. Then we'll be able to jump back over to our account and test this thing out. So here's the account. I'm gonna hit F5 on this page to reload the account page. And let's click on the details tab and automatically we can see that without touching anything, um, the company profile section is hidden because the, um, the toggle here is set to hide. So the business rule has picked up that the, um, because this is set to hide, we're hiding those three fields and as a result, the section is hidden, okay? Let's go ahead and click on this toggle. So now we have show and um, what we can see in clicking that is the company profile has now appeared. Okay, so we have these three fields and they're all visible, right? So we can just toggle back and forth here and um, we can see that it's just hiding and showing that section. So it's pretty cool. Um, so that's the new control. Um, that's how to use it. And um, 
you know, we, we did a little uh, no code version of how to uh, show and hide a section as well. So that's it guys. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and of course, check out my blog at carldesuza.com. Thank you.